You're listening to the 10-ish Minutes Show, the podcast written by you. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. This is episode one of... I'm still figuring this stuff out. Oh, sorry. Here's the first sketch. Oh, shit. Brenda, start with 200. 200. Charged. And clear. Take it to 360. 360. Damn it. Brenda, turn off life support. Good. Now switch it back on again. See if that works. Hi, John. Carlos here. Listen, I need a copy of those minutes from the Cardiff meeting, and I need them kind of sharpish. Hmm? Yeah, those ones. It'll be quicker just to email them. No, honestly, just fire them to me in an email. I, I appreciate that, John, but if you could... It'll take two seconds. OK, great. Thanks, John. It's Carlos. Manueli. that's Carlos with a C... At Clanfar, Pulgwingil, Gogerich Gwyn, Drobbleland, Tisilio Gogogoth, dot gov dot uk. Clanfar, Pulgwingil, Gogerich Gwyn, Drobbleland, Tisilio Gogogoth, dot gov dot uk. F. A. <laughs> Doctor, my wife, she got bit by one of those creatures. Set her down, son. Will she live? Looks bad. I, I don't know. Fight it, please, honey, fight it. What type blood is she? Oh, negative. What about you, son? The same. Then we might just have a shot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, son, I'm going to need you to perform a transfusion. What does that mean? It means I've got to take your blood and put it in her. Find a vein in your arm and we'll get the needle in. Oh, needle? Yes, for the transfusion. Uh, is there any other way to do it? What? No, it's a blood transfusion. Yeah, I get that, but... I just kind of feel like I've escaped from Count Dracula and now his mum, Mrs. Dracula, that's you, is trying to get me. Son, she's only got moments before she turns. Yeah, I know. And I'm saying I'll do the transfusion, but isn't there another way that doesn't involve, you know, your, your sharp, pointy friend there? Roll up your sleeve and show me a vein now. What about my saliva? I could do the trick. What? Have you even considered the healing properties of saliva? I've got loads of that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, grab a bucket, we'll get started. Look, that poor woman's life is hanging by a thread. We need blood. Yeah, I know. Ah, this is so uh, hard. What? I hope she doesn't change, oh. because that would certainly take the decision out of my hands. <laughs> Sorry, son. You're on your own. Oh, no. Look at that. She's changed. Now I don't have to lose any of my lovely blood. (laughs) Oh, I like this very Seinfeld. Do your Kramer impression. Hey, you guys. It's me, (laughs) Kramer from that nerd Jerry Seinfeld show. (laughs) You're so good. How are you unemployed? That completely escapes me. Hello? Is that Detective Inspector Rowland? I was mugged last Tuesday and I was told that you were arranging an identity parade. That's right. Well, we can't afford to pay you travel expenses, so all ID parades are now done by telephone. Oh, but but how will I tell them apart if I can't see them? Yeah, that's the beauty of the scheme. I'll describe them to you. Obviously, in the interest of fairness, they are all quite similar, but I can paint a very vivid picture. Her- are you sure this is legal? Quiet. Right, line-up's ready. Over to you, Eamon. Ian one. A short 95-year-old Asian man with a small goatee beard. He is stumpy. I repeat, stumpy. Ian two. A glamorous 22-year-old fashion model. What a stunner. Gwah. Ian three. A small white kitten called Jeremy. A cute, cute Jeremy. Ian four. Fresh from the cells, it's Dwayne Spraggan. Dressed in a baseball cap and shell suit with the trousers tucked into his socks. His three previous convictions, one for violence, and he looks a right wrong So, 
Does anyone remind you of your vicious attacker? Does anyone come to the four? Four, let, um, four, let me think now. Let For God's sake, uh, can you make a quick four oh, cast? Oh, well, I, I'm drawn towards number one. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I, I said, I think number one. Four, right? four, you said four. No, yeah, no, yeah, I four. Said, I said, yeah. You're listening to the 10 ish minute show. Uh, 10 ish minutes. Minute. Minutes. 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 Ow! Fuck ah. off! Ow! What's that? that? Ah. Oh! Oh. Rob, get up! It's only a sound effect. Ro- Rob? Rob! What have I done? I'm alright. Mike. This is Kate, the new admin temp I spoke to you about. Thanks, Sally. I'll show her the ropes. Nice to meet you, Kate. <laughs> oh, I think she's a bit shy. <laughs> okay, uh, no problem. Brain. <laughs> oh, don't have much of a telephone voice, do you, Kate? Well, maybe we'll start with some photocopying then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, she can be a little bit bitey, bless her. <laughs> she almost took a chunk out of my arm. What the hell is wrong with her? Can't discriminate against minority groups in the workplace, and that now includes the undead. Bren! She's a zombie! Please, that kind of language is not very politically correct. They prefer undead or metabolically challenged. Uh, what, what, what am I supposed to do with her? Well, actually, they seem well suited to admin work. This is unbelievable! Uh, and the new security guard is starting tomorrow. But whatever you do, don't put him on the night shift. At least, not if there's a full moon. <laughs> It happened last week, me and Dave, I can't explain it. I just remember waking up with intense pain. It felt like someone had smacked me over the back of the head. Are you saying that you... bodies. I know how crazy it sounds, but I'm not Dave. I'm Jeff. Somehow, I'm in his body and he's in mine. Ah, I'm Jeff in Dave's but, body. But you and Dave, you're identical twins. I guess we have to keep living each other's lives until we can swap back. Oh, hold on, hold on. You've been working Dave's job? Yeah, of course, yeah. In air traffic control? They get mad if the little green dots touch each other. But, so where is Dave? Jamaica. He went on the holiday I booked. There was still time to cancel it, but Dave said it would look suspicious. Wait, Dave has gone on holiday with your wife? Yeah, she doesn't suspect anything. Promise me you won't tell her. Um, Jeff, I really don't think that you've swapped bodies. We have! They asked me something only I, Jeff, would know anything. Jeff, I think maybe Dave has lied to you. No, no, I, no, 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 I had to go to Jamaica with my wife. No one would believe us. He lied to you. He swore. He swore this time it really had happened. Good evening, fine sir, and welcome to the cheapest bar in the hillwide Stoke. What'll it be? Let me see. Cup of tea, just 80p. Uh, fine. Uh, one cup of tea, then. Jolly good. One pound sixty. I'm sorry? Gets bally busy this time of day, sir. One must double the prices. Uh, there's no one here, and it's madam. Uh, no, but it pays to be prudent. Anything uh, else? No. Lovely. That's ten pounds. But... Our tea menu does include a Jaffa cake and hot buttered scone, the right to which you have just forfeited with your last utterance. I don't believe this. An unbeliever, eh? That's a hundred pound fine, sir. It is agnosticism that which made this country great? Did we proud Brits win an empire, quoting to little black natives? There most certainly is a god, unless you beg to differ, in which case, pray do spill the beans. That is, if you have beans in this neck of the woods. <laughs> uh, we don't have a swear box, sir. I'll just jot that on the bill, too. So, seated or standing? Um, it's madam, and what do you suggest? Can't help you, sir. <laughs> Uh, standing? 300 pounds. Uh, okay, sitting. 500 pounds. Uh, standing? 800 pounds would have been the standard 300, but having already placed both buttocks on the bench. Uh, right, I'm leaving. Leaving without consuming, eh? That's 900 pounds. Okay, okay, just give me the tea. Leaving and consuming and not paying. That's 2,000. Uh, manager! Calling the manager without authorization. That's 5,000. Oh, God, not again, Burke. I've told you. We're a respectable restaurant. Sorry, madam, what is it? Uh, just one tea. Eight thousand seven hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> no chance of a tip, sir.
All sketches performed by me, Rob Flett. And me, Sarah Laurie Johnston. Zombie Temp and Body Swap were written by Mark Cowling. ID Parade was written by David Metcalf, Andrew Kirkwood and Jamie McLeish. Priceless by Michael Monkhouse. Reboot by James Salisbury. Send It to My Email Address was written by Carlos Manuelli. And Vampire by MJ Hughes. The producer was MJ Hughes with music by Mark Byrne.